How long will it take to get to 10% body fat? The most common question I've gotten is how to get to 10% body fat. In the previous videos, I've emphasized on the importance of nutrition, being in a caloric deficit, eating a high protein diet, a well-balanced resistance training program, a good cardio regime, including outdoor walking and cardio workouts you can do at the gym, and finally consistency, repeating these steps day by day. My second most asked question and highly requested in the previous video is, how long will it take to get to 10% body fat? In this video, I'll detail briefly one, my history, two, how to get under 10% body fat, three, how long it takes, tackling the stubborn fat problem, and the bottom line, the duration of decreasing body fat percentage. A little bit about my history. In 2016, when I created my first diet plan, Project Diamonds, it took me approximately 22 weeks. In 2017, with improved knowledge, I was able to complete this feat in 13 weeks, nearly half the time required to lose all that weight. However, at this stage, I've still never gotten under 10% body fat. 2018, I saw similar results in the same time, but could not improve upon reaching a lower body fat percentage. 2019 was nothing short of perfect, the peak of my research and understanding of fat loss, taking into account human behavior and mitigating these circumstances. This took me exactly 16 weeks, and here you can notice my initial body fat percentage was lower compared to the previous years and the first time I reached sub 10% body fat, something I was never able to accomplish. But just briefly, how to get under 10% body fat, the fat loss fundamentals. It's one, a calorie deficit, eating less calories than what you burn. I also highly recommend having a higher protein diet. I'm personally enjoying eating between one gram and 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. Resistance training, coupled with a good training program can ensure weight you lose is coming from fat stores and not muscle. Training with progressive overload will stimulate your muscle tissues to stay and in some cases grow. Cardio, a combination of informal cardio through outdoor walking and formal cardio done in the gym. Finally, it's consistency. Following these steps over time will allow you to reach that 10% body fat goal. The moment of truth, how long will it take you to get under 10% body fat? But hey, just before we dive in how to calculate how long it will take, if you enjoy the research, editing, and the delivery of these videos, please do me one favor. It takes one second. Gently touch the like button. If you're new, consider caressing the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Let's calculate how long it'll take. For the purpose of this video, I've used my scale reading of 24% at the start of my diet. I've left you a body fat percentage calculator in the description and the chart I'm about to use in this video. When you know what you're doing, getting a shredded midsection doesn't take nearly as much time or effort as you may think. The following chart breaks it down. This chart assumes an average of just one pound of fat loss per week, and it'll give you an accurate estimate of how long until you'll see your six pack. The upper limit of recommended rate of fat loss is two pounds, which would half the time given. Here's how to use it. One, locate the vertical column at the top with your current body fat percentage. Two, if you're a woman, follow that column down until you hit the orange cell. And if you're a man, follow it down until you hit the yellow cell. Trace that row, the horizontal division, to the left-hand margin and look at this number. And that's approximately how many weeks it will take for you to get under 10% body fat. So, for example, I started at 24% body fat, which gives me about 29 to 30 weeks to see my abs, according to the chart. However, this is at the rate of one pound per week. My rate was at two pounds per week, which would give me 15 weeks. And this is an accurate estimation. With all those calculations, remember this is just an estimation. The actual time taken can more likely be more or less depending on how well you stick to your diet and training programs, whether you use the supplements to speed up the process or not, and how efficiently or inefficiently your body tends to mobilize and burn fat. 
But here we tackle the stubborn fat problem. As you lose weight over time, you'll see fat comes off of your face or your arms first. The more resistant areas like your abs, love handles, and chest, which are considerably more stubborn areas, can delay how long it will get to get to 10% body fat. In my own experience, halfway through my transformations, my weight loss rate decreases considerably. So my honest opinion of getting to 10% body fat is take your results from the charts in my case, it was 15 weeks and the best case scenario for someone to get under 10% body fat for the first time is double that time to 30 weeks. In my case, I was perfect. I had a coach guide me for 16 weeks, diet, training, cardio, and my supplements. And if you're interested in coaching, it's the first link in the description. It helps tremendously. With well, those who are a little bit more experienced, maybe add four weeks or more to the results you got on the chart. The bottom line is getting down to 10% body fat can take its time. It's gonna require your consistency, your dedication, and your hard work. If it's your first time getting down to that body fat level, it can take longer. Having tools such as coaches and being able to make adjustments more quickly can help you reach that body fat percentage quicker. However, using that chart can be a good estimation for you to see how long it will take you to do so. But I'm going to leave it there. With regards to coaching, if you're interested, it's the first link in the description. All my supplements that I've used over my transformations, I also link there. Let me know in your experience, how long has it taken? How long do you diet for? I think it'll be really interesting for a lot of people to know, including myself. But I'll leave it there. If you did enjoy the video, gently hit the video the thumbs up. Actually, just caress it, you know. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.